Dear viewers, welcome to the YouTube channel History of Chemistry. In this video, we are going to talk about the important concept calculation of molar mass or gram molar mass. So, in our previous video, we have talked about this molar mass. So, just go through it so you will get more idea about it. Now, let us go to the topic calculation of molar mass. Calculation of molar mass. So, in this, we are going to see the following sums calculate the gram molar mass of the following H2O water molecule and carbon dioxide CO2 and NH3 ammonia molecule and CH4 methane molecule now out of these four I am going to teach you the first two molecules and the remaining two you can work out as a homework now what is the concept used here what is the concept used here is very simple is very simple the molar mass is nothing but mass of one mole mass of one mole what is one mole one mole is nothing but gram atomic mass of an atom or gram molecular mass of a molecule so these two things we have to very very clear so if you for an atom the gram atomic mass is known as gram one mole for a molecule, gram molecular mass is known as 1 mole. So, the gram atomic mass or gram molecular mass is called molar mass. It's called molar mass. So, we have to be very, very clear about the given calculation, the given molecule, the given substance is a molecule or atom. We have to be very, very careful. If it is a molecule, we have to calculate the molar mass. If it is an atom, we have to just write the gram atomic mass. Now, let us uh, calculate the molar mass of water. So, what is uh, formula of water? is 2 So, if the molecular mass is expressed in grams, we call it as a gram molecular mass. It will be called GMM. GMM is nothing but molar mass because it is a mass of 1 mole. That is the reason we call it as a molar mass. Now, what is called molecular mass? Molecular mass is a sum of atomic masses of all the atom present in the molecule so that is the one we have to know the sum of atomic mass of all the atoms present in the molecule so how many atoms are totally present in the molecule three so two hydrogen one oxygen so if you add all the atomic mass of two hydrogen and one oxygen we will get the molecular mass of water so let us do the sum so atomic mass of hydrogen is one Atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So, you can find out from the relative atomic mass table you know, which I have given in the previous video. Now, gram molar mass of water. So, to calculate this, we have to calculate the mass of hydrogen and the mass of oxygen present in the water. Then, after that, if we add it, we will get the answer. Now, how many hydrogen atom we have in water? Two. So, the number of atom of hydrogen into atomic mass of hydrogen, 1, plus the number of atoms of oxygen. How many number of atoms we have? 1. So, atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So, number of hydrogen is 2, atomic mass of hydrogen is 1, so 2 into 1 plus the number of oxygen is 1 into atomic mass of oxygen is 16, so 1 into 16, 2 plus 16 is equal to 18 grams. 2 into 1, 2, 1 into 16, 8, 16. So, it is equal to 18 grams. So, 18 gram is the gram molecular mass of water which is equal to gram molar mass too. So, this is what we have to understand. So, if you express the gram molecular mass in grams, we call it as a molar mass in grams, we call it as a gram molar mass. Now, come to the next one, carbon dioxide, CO2. The atomic mass of uh, carbon is 12, the atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So, the gram molar mass of carbon dioxide, how do you calculate? Write the previous one, so you will write the formula. So, number of atoms of carbon into atomic mass of carbon plus number of atoms of oxygen into atomic mass of oxygen. So, we have, we have two different atoms. So, one for carbon, another for oxygen. If you write, the whole molecule is over. Now, how many number of atoms of carbon we have in carbon dioxide? Only one. So, 1 into 
Atomic mass of carbon is 12, so 1 into 12 plus. Number of atoms of oxygen is 2. 2 into atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So 2 into 16 is equal to 1 into 12, 12. 2 into 16, 32. 12 plus 32 is equal to 44 grams. The gram molar mass of carbon dioxide is equal to 44 grams. So this is a very simple sum. We can easily calculate the other two. Ammonia and methane, you can do it as a homework. Now let us go to the next portion. The next portion of the video will be we will be uh, dealing with some kind of different molecules that we don't come across normally. Now, the first one, we calculate the gram molecular mass of the following, sodium and ammonium nitrate and aluminium sulfate. Now, what is the concept we learn? Molar mass is nothing but gram atomic mass of an atom or gram molecular mass of a molecule. If it is so, for an atom, gram atomic mass is the molar mass. Now, look at this first case, sodium. The sodium is an atom. So, the at Na is sodium atom. What is the molar mass of sodium? Gram atomic mass of sodium is molar mass. What is the gram atomic mass of sodium? 23 grams, which is nothing but gram molar mass of sodium. So, this we have to write it as 23 grams. Now, let us come to the next one, ammonium nitrate, NH4NO3. Now, in this, NH4NO3, in this, we are going to calculate the molar mass, gram molar mass. What is gram molar mass? It is a molecule actually. So, we have to calculate the gram molecular mass of a molecule. So, before that, we should know the atomic masses. Atomic mass of nitrogen is 14. Hydrogen is 1, oxygen is 16. So, how will we calculate the gram molecular mass? So, we have to calculate the sum of atomic mass of all the atom present in the molecule. Now, I am going to consolidate this. I am going to add all the similar atom together. So, what is the formula I will get? I will get N2H4O3, right? N2H4O3, right? So, because we have a 2 nitrogen atom, you can see 1 and 2, 2 nitrogen atom. So, I am going to write it as 2. And how many hydrogen we have? 4. So, 4. How many oxygens we have? 3. So, this is the molecular formula. The molecular formula will tell you how many number of atoms present in the molecule. So, now I have got the idea. Totally, I have 2 nitrogens, one, 4 hydrogens and 3 oxygens. Now, similarly, we will calculate like previous one. So, the number of nitrogen into atomic mass of nitrogen plus the number of hydrogen into atomic mass of hydrogen and plus the number of oxygen into atomic mass of oxygen because we have a three atoms, remember, in the molecule we have a three different atoms, so we have a three different sessions to add. Now, how many nitrogens we have? 2 into 14 plus. How many hydrogens we have? 4 into 4. 2, the atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 plus. How many hydrogens we have? 4. So, 4 into atomic mass of hydrogen is 1. Similarly, plus the atom number of oxygen is 3. The atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So, if you calculate this, 2 into 14, 28. 4 into 1, 4. Plus 3 into 16, 48. If you add all these things, 28 plus 4, 32. 32 plus 48, 18. So, this is the gram molecular mass of ammonium nitrate or gram molar mass of ammonium nitrate, JD grams. So, if you take JD grams, it is nothing but molar mass of ammonium nitrate. So, in this, what we have learned is very simple. The nitrogen we have to add together to calculate the gram molar mass. So, what is the next one? Aluminium sulfate. Aluminium sulfate. Aluminium sulfate. Now, let us calculate the aluminium sulphate. Now, in this case, uh, the aluminium is given separately, but sulphate ion is given in the bracket. So, twice the amount of sulphate is present. So, how do you calculate the molecular mass or molar mass? First, we have to calculate the mole molecular formula. So, aluminium have two aluminiums in the formula and uh, if this 3 is common to sulfur and oxygen, so we have to multiply with sulfur and uh, as well as with uh, oxygen. So, how many sulfur we have inside the bracket? 1. 
So 1 into 3, 3. We have 3 sulfur atoms totally. So yes, 3. Similarly, we will multiply this 4 and 3, we get 12. So there are 12 oxygen atoms in the molecule. So O12. So in this, we have 3 different atoms present in the aluminium like aluminium sulfate, aluminium sulfate, aluminium sulfate uh, uh, molecule. So we are going to calculate the gram molar mass of aluminium sulfate. So similarly, number of uh, aluminiums into atomic mass of aluminium plus number of sulfur into atomic mass of sulfur plus number of oxygen into atomic mass of oxygen. Now, how many number of aluminium we have? Look at this, two. So two. The atomic uh, mass of aluminium is uh, 27, 27, the number of uh, sulphur in the aluminium sulphate is 3, the atomic mass of sulphur is 32, the number of uh, oxygen is 12, the atomic mass of oxygen is 16, so 2 into 27 plus uh, 3 into 32 plus 12 into 16. So 2 into 27, 54, 3 into 32, 96, and 12 into 16 is 192. So if we add all these things together, we get 342 grams. So 342 grams of gram molecular mass of aluminium is nothing but the gram molar mass of aluminium sulfate. I hope, my dear students, you have understood this calculation of molar mass. Subscribe for more videos. The chemistry concepts made easy here. Thank you.